Well, we know that people have been using yoga for uh, thousands of years to be healthy and to feel happy and to learn about their own body. The yoga that I use in class is, it's called Kundalini Yoga. I actually went and took a three-day course to, be, to get a certificate in it. And Kundalini Yoga is sometimes called, um, it's referred to as the Mother Yoga. It was introduced to the Western world in 1969 by Yogi um, Bayan, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. And he left his homeland in India um, with a vision to um, share Kundalini Yoga and to teach others about Kundalini Yoga, to become teachers. And Kundalini Yoga, I feel, is perfect for children. It matches um, their dynamic energy. And at this age group, our children have lots of energy. It promotes their body um, to move. Kundalini yoga poses consist of different, moving their body in different ways. The breath moves with our poses. And sometimes when we're in our um, poses, we have deep and slow um, breaths. The kids really seem to enjoy it. I love my yoga. Oh yes I do, and my yoga, it loves me too, I stretch my arms up and breathe in deep, I love my yoga, I feel my peace, I stretch way back in, cobra pose. Breathe in deeply through my nose. I let it out with a great big kiss. I usually start my yoga class tuning in with their hands. Their palms are together and they're closing their eyes and having a tall spine. I use a tape and they follow the sounds as they breathe. Um, the Ong um, Namo Guru De Namo. It means I greet the wise teacher within me and outside of me. It's just a chance for them to channel their energy and to get focused and to know we're going to be starting yoga and to wake up that inner teacher and to, to understand how their body's feeling and what feels right, to enjoy the breathing and see how that makes them feel. And then we start um, with a warm-up. And our warm-up is to get our body and mind ready you know, to start the yoga poses. Every week we usually do the same warm-up poses because they're used to it. It's not anything new I have to teach um, in a yoga pose. And then we go um, through the book, Fly Like a Butterfly. Um, it has lots of yoga adventures where you're um, taking yoga poses. They're woven into stories. And this is a chance for me as a teacher to get creative, but also engage the children to get creative with me. There's basic poses that uh, I do with the children, and they're grouped according to um, their physical positions. Um, each gr group um, works on the body and mind in a distinct way. We have standing poses, sitting poses, reclining poses, backward bending poses, twisting, balancing, and of course re relaxation and meditation. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly.
Okay, we're going to do some animal poses today. The first animal pose we're going to do is a spider pose. So we're going to slowly stand up. We do a lot of animal poses, something that will get the child engaged in yoga. And so we like to um, use poses that relate to animals, make animal sounds, move our bodies in that kind of way, along with breathing. And we'll go on an adventure. Maybe we'll be in the jungle. Maybe we landed on an island somewhere. And that really gets them excited. And once they learn a lot of these basic poses, we can go on many adventures and I say, oh, we see an elephant. And they remember what our elephant pose was. We have lots of songs that relate to some of the poses. So at times I'll play um, songs so they can sing, do the poses at the same time. And after we've gone through some of our poses, we move on to our relaxation time and meditation time. At this age, it's hard to really achieve a deep meditation as you would as an adult but just to get them started and to understand to really tune into how they feel I tell them that the meditation and relaxation is an extraordinary thing to achieve we're going to do the fish pose <laughs> Happiness runs in a circular motion Life is like a little boat upon the sea Everybody is a part of everything anyway You can have it all if you let yourself be Arch your back, stretch. Let's be a big balloon. 
So at this age, I'm just really trying to get them to channel their thoughts in their head, things that they don't want in their head anymore, and try to channel them out. Sometimes we might do some different meditations where they are trying to channel out, I call it the garbage truck meditation. They're taking all that garbage in their head that they don't want. Oh, I got in an argument with my brother this morning and it made me feel terrible. I had to eat peas for dinner and I don't like peas. Taking all those thoughts that they don't want anymore and throwing them out like garbage. And so we talk a lot about, let's do our garbage truck um, meditation. And it's so just teaching them to think deeply and get those, grab those thoughts, put them in the garbage can and throw them, you know, on the curb for the garbage truck to get it. That may always makes them giggle because I think they can relate to that because all kids like garbage men <laughs> and garbage <laughs> trucks. And so, um, and I also think the meditation, I try to get them to really pay attention to their breathing and their breath and how it feels, how, filling their lungs with air and holding it, it's breathing in as long as they can and then exhaling as long as they can. And what does it feel like to take short breaths? And then we do usually end time with some meditation songs, which they love. They have their favorites. This kind of, at the end, relaxes them and balances the brain. I am happy, I am good. I am happy, I am good. Satanam, Satanam, Satanam G. Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru G. Satanam, Satanam, Satanam G. Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru G. I am happy. I am good. I am happy. I am good. Satanam, Satanam, Satanam G. Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru G. Satanam, Satanam, Satanam G. Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru G. I am happy. I am good. I am happy. I am good. Satanam, Satanam, Satanam G. Yoga is going to help lead them um, to their inner teacher within them. Um, it will help them think creatively, self-correcting abilities, um, help with concentration, increase self-awareness, build self-esteem, and strengthen their body. I think later on in life, uh, when the, the focus that they're going to learn from yoga is going to help them with school and homework. Um, it promotes a state of well-being at all times and all levels, um, body, mind, and spirit. I think that children crave balance and crave activeness. And um, 
they want to be engaged. And I think through Kundalini Yoga, I achieve those things. I'll talk a little bit about my yoga class and what we go through, like what you, what you saw.